<laughs> how, are, how are your daughters? Tell me about them. They're great. Uh, the uh, youngest one just turned nine, and then the older one re remains 12 for a few more months. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're good. I mean, this week is testing week at schools. I so, hear a lot about yeah, that. Yep. Yeah. So they're th three days of extensive standardized testing. Mm -hmm. And, and do you, what are the consequences of the standardized testing? Well, the way I understand it, if the, a school's kids don't test well, they burn the school down. <laughs> so it's wow. pretty high pressure. A lot of pressure on the kids. Yeah. Wow. And the tests are written by people that nobody knows who they are. It's very secretive. Mm -hmm. And the questions are, because they have to prepare for these tests for a long time. A lot of the year is about the tests. Teaching for the test. Teaching to the test, they yeah. call it, because mm -hmm. they, they decided there's a new way kids should think, and we're going to prove they're thinking it by having them pass these tests, yeah. or we burn the school down. <laughs> so anyway, my kids kind of panic when they're in these, uh, you know, which is okay. You know, my mother was a math teacher, and she taught me that moment where you go, I don't know what this is. When you panic, that means yeah. you're about to figure it out. Ah. That means you've let go of what you know and you're about to grab onto a new thing. That's great. That you didn't know yet. So I always, I'm there for them in those moments and I go, come on, just look at the problem. And then I look at the problems and it's like, you know, Bill has three goldfish. Uh, he buys two more. Uh, how many dogs live in London? <laughs> or something like that. So, wow. Mm. That's crazy. Well, you better. <clears throat> Better notify the fire department. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right here with Louis C.K., everyone.